Hi Year 4 and welcome to today's Reading for Pleasure. This week we're going to be reading from this book which is Roman Invasion, My Story, A British Boy, AD 84. So this is a historic fiction book about when the Romans were attacking Britain and it's about a young boy and his account of the attack and what happened afterwards. We won't be reading the whole book, we'll re be reading the first few chapters as re many as we get through in this week, but it might be a book if you're interested in it afterwards that you want to read and we have got some of these in school so maybe when we get back to school in September it might be a book that you ask to take home to read. Well done for sticking with us, you've done so well over the last many many weeks of doing your home learning so many of you are still sticking at it and we're incredibly proud of you because we know how hard it is. Hopefully you enjoy this week's reading for pleasure. A bit of a change. So here we go. Chapter one. The night had been pitch dark and was now turning the red and grey of just before dawn. The sun had not yet risen, but its early red streaks could be seen making patterns in the distant sky. Owls still hooted and foxes and badgers and other creatures of the night moved through the forest, heading home before the daylight exposed them to predators of their own. We stayed silent, hidden behind trees and concealed beneath bushes, watching as the first light of day filtered through the trees. I was with my older cousin Carrick and five others of our Cavetti tribe. Across the track, throughout the forest, others were also hidden. More of my cousins, other warriors from our tribe. And not just men. We Britons are proud of our warrior women who can fight hand to hand with sword or spear the equal of any man. Our tribal leader, my mother, Queen Kadua, warrior queen, was with us. She had become leader of our tribe after my father, King Vanan, had died in battle against the Roman invaders. Now we were going to take our revenge. Our spies had been keeping an eye on the Romans in their big fort, and had noticed that they had sent out dawn patrols to keep watch on the territory they had invaded. For the past two days, the Roman patrol had travelled the same path, coming through this part of the forest. Usually, it was just a party of 20 soldiers. Although we had seen the soldiers in action and knew how fiercely they could fight, our hope was that this time we would have surprise on our side. We would also have the advantage of outnumbering them, Fifty of our tribe were hidden among the trees and bushes of the wood. All of us were armed with knives, swords, axes and spears. In the distance we heard the sound of many tramping feet. The Roman patrol was coming. I crouched behind the cover of the tree, my fist gripping the hand of my knife so tightly I thought my knuckles would lock. Beside me, Carrick was holding his large axe. The others were also poised with their weapons at the ready. Nearer and nearer came the sound of the Roman patrol, marching feet crashing down onto the earth. Then, through the leaves and branches, I saw them. A glint of the early sun catching on the metal armour the soldiers wore. Now I could see the faces of the soldiers beneath their helmets. How was it they could not see us? We were so close to them. The soldiers at the front of the patrol began to pass us. I felt sickness in my stomach. This would be my first battle against the Romans. Would I be brave enough? I prayed to the goddess Bridget and to the great god Lug that I would not let my tribe down. Today, I, Bran, would be the first, become a fully fledged warrior and this would be a great victory. This day, the Cavetti would strike a blow for freedom against the Roman invaders. It could have been the screech of a hawk or an eagle, but it was the signal from my mother for us to attack. Echoing her cry, we launched ourselves from our hiding places, swords and axes and spears waving as we threw ourselves at the party of Roman soldiers. I leapt onto the back of the soldier nearest to me and stabbed him hard with my knife, but the blade broke against his body armour. I threw away the knife and tried to get my arms around his neck, determined to wrestle him to the ground. But he was too strong for me. He swung his elbow back and hit me hard in the ribs and I gritted my teeth to stop myself crying out in pain. He tried to shake me off, but I hung on grimly, still trying to use my weight to bring him to the ground. 
Now he had drawn his short sword and was hacking blindly at my legs, but my wolfskin leggings took the blows. Around me the battle raged, Covetti warrior against Roman soldier, yells of war and pain. And then the soldier took me by surprise. He bent down suddenly and I slipped from his back, trying to cling on with my arms around his neck. He grabbed me and threw me with great force and I was aware of the tree trunk coming straight at me and then there was a huge pain in my head and everything went black. We'll read a bit more tomorrow.